In this lesson, we're going to take a look at differentiating quotients. And in the first example, it says differentiate c of x equals 3x squared minus 2x plus 8 over 5x plus 4. So here's a quotient, a rational expression. Now, we could think of the denominator, the 5x plus 4, as 5x plus 4 to the power of 1. And then we could rewrite this as a product and then use the product rule. So we could rewrite it as the numerator function, the 3x squared minus 2x plus 8, multiplied by 5x plus 4 to the power of negative 1. So I've brought the 5x plus 4 to the first up, and then when you move it from the denominator to the numerator, the exponent changes sign from 1 to negative 1. So we could write it as a product and then use the product rule. So we'll differentiate using the product rule. The product rule says differentiate one of the functions. So I differentiated 3x squared minus 2x plus 8. Got 6x minus 2. Derivative of 3x squared is 6x. Derivative of negative 2x is negative 2. 8 is a constant, so it's derivative of 0. So derivative of the first function multiplied by the second function, undifferentiated, plus, and then you do the opposite, the uh, original first function multiplied by the derivative of the second. Now, it's a, a power of a function, so it's a composite function, so we'd use the chain rule. The negative 1 comes down in front, and then we uh, write 5x plus 4, the power of, and we subtract 1 from the exponent, so negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. And then we multiply that by the derivative of what was in here, which of course is just 5. So that's the differentiation finished. Now, I want to simplify my, my derivative here. So we have uh, 6x minus 2 times 5x plus 4 to the power of negative 1. Power of negative 1 means we write that 5x plus 4 with a positive exponent in the denominator. Now over here we have minus the 5, so there's the minus 5, times this function here. And then 5x plus 4 to the power of negative 2 is the same as 5x plus 4 squared in the denominator. Now notice that the denominators are similar but not the same yet. This has a power of 2 and this has just a 5x plus 4 to the first. So I'd multiply this one top and bottom by 5x plus 4 to get a common denominator. Notice I also multiplied the 5 in here, distributed the 5 in. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to expand this out. So 6x times 5x is 30x squared. Uh, 6x and 4x is 24x minus 10x would be 14x, and negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. And then I'll remove the brackets, and uh, this means minus 15x squared plus 10x and then minus 40 and collect the like terms. And if you do that, 30x squared minus 15x squared is 15x squared. 14x and 10x is 24x. And negative 8 and negative 40 is minus 48. So that's the derivative. Now, there is a restriction on this derivative. It has the same uh, binomial in the denominator that the original function has. 5x plus 4 cannot equal 0. So that gives us the restriction. 5x plus 4 is not allowed to equal 0, so if we move the 4 over, we would get 5x cannot equal negative 4, and then dividing out the 5, there's our restriction. x cannot equal negative 4 fifths. Same denominator, well, except for the power of 2, same binomial in the denominator there, so uh, same restriction. So there's the restriction, x cannot equal negative 4 fifths. Now, that's one way to differentiate a quotient. Another way is to use a differentiation rule called the quotient rule. And the quotient rule says that if f of x equals p of x over q of x, then f prime is q of x, the original denominator, times the derivative of the numerator, so q of x times p prime of x, minus, and then the opposite, the original numerator minus the times the derivative of the denominator over the denominator squared. Uh, if you a little simpler version of this says that if you uh, have the function p p over q and you differentiate it, that's what the prime means, then it's q p prime denominator times derivative of the numerator minus the opposite numerator times the derivative of the denominator over the denominator squared. And I'm going to differentiate the same rule as the same rule, same function as the first page and show that this actually does work nicer than trying to use the uh, product rule. So first of all, we start with, it says q of x, p prime of x, so denominator times derivative of numerator. So there's the denominator, 5x plus 4, times the derivative of 3x squared is 6x, 
derivative of negative 2x is minus 2. Minus p of x times q prime. So that means the original numerator times q prime is the derivative of the denominators. The derivative of 5x plus 4 is just 5. And then it's over the denominator squared, so 5x plus 4 squared. Now all we need to do now is expand this out and the 5 in here and collect like terms. So 5x times 6x is 30x squared. And then uh, this is 24x minus 10x is 14x. Uh, 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. That may seem familiar. That's what we did in the last page. Uh, expanding the 5 in here, removing the brackets, we get negative 15x squared plus 10x. You see, this would be negative 10x. Take the brackets off, and that change it to a plus 10x. And that would be 40. Take the brackets off, and we get minus 40. And then collecting the like terms, 30x squared minus 15x squared is 15x squared. 14x and 10x is 24x. And negative 8 and negative 40 is minus 48. So same derivative as on the last page.